Hello, Mark here. We all have our own idea of what quality is, our own set of criteria that means that we regard the services or products as good quality. Quality is very subjective. You ask different people what they consider as good quality and you get different answers depending on what their main requirements are. It could be good price, quick delivery, how long something lasts, or even if it's the right colour. Quality is in the eye of the beholder. So, how do you define quality? The first use of the word quality can be found as early as the mid 12th century, derived from the Latin qualitatum. The Oxford English Dictionary defines quality as the standard of something as measured against other things or a similar kind. That's great, we now have a definition. Measurement, measurement sounds good, we like measurement, but measured against similar kind. That seems very subjective. It's like I could go to a shop and ask for a BLT sandwich on white bread. The shop's very clean, nicely decorated. The assistant is attentive and polite, takes my order. It arrives quickly, nicely packaged at a reasonable price. So I go away happy. I then get to my desk, open it up, lovely fresh white bread, beautiful green lettuce leaves, juicy red tomatoes with a slice of succulent smoked ham. Well, it's like a bacon lettuce and tomato sandwich. It's similar, but it's not what I asked for. It's like comparing apples with oranges. We can't say that an apple's faulty because it doesn't make a good orange. For the purpose of this course, I'm going to be following the ISO 8402 definition of quality. The totality of features and characteristics of a product or service that bear on its ability to satisfy stated or implied needs. If everything's measured and defined, then the customer knows what to expect and can gauge their quality criteria against it. And the supplier of the product or service knows what to work towards to meet the customer's expectations. Quality and quality management shouldn't be confused either. And we'll be defining quality management in another lecture. So far, we've learnt where quality management has come from historically and how it's evolved and now we have a definition to refer to. It's now time to take the next step and learn about the international standard. And that's where we're heading in the next section. I'll see you there.